Welcome right. to Everybody's Got a Price with Jeff Dye and Josh Nelson. Yeah. How you feeling, brother? I'm good, man. I like that you're wearing a Kyle C's shirt. D- uh, Dylan C's. That's what I meant, Dildog. Dylan C's. Yeah, man. I just got this shirt sent to me, dude, by uh, this company, Breaking Tees. And I was like, Dylan, that's the one I want. Look at this. Well, there we go. We got a, you wear a shirt of our friend. I had oh, that's to, cool. uh, yeah. I, had I also a, just called him Kyle because the other pitcher I know Kyle is named Freeland. Kyle Freeland. Yeah. I get all my buddies kind of. Yeah, jumbled. this is his no-hitter shirt. That is great. They made one. One of my favorite days ever. Yeah. The only two people to ever throw a no-hitter for the San Diego Padres are both friends of ours. That's pretty cool. Joe Musgroves and Dylan Cease. And I also don't know a lot of big league players. Maybe. We, I only know a small handful, but the two that I know from the Padres are the only two no-hitters for maybe the Maybe sh- other pitchers should get know. to know us, Yo, start bro. hanging out with Jeff Dye. <laughs> He'll throw a no-no, baby. Yeah. I was so excited. I watched um, every pitch of that from like the fifth inning. Yeah. Someone was texting me like, your boy's throwing a, a gem. But he had just thrown a no-hitter. His Or sorry, he had like uh, the two starts before that, he yeah. had like a no-hitter through seven or whatever. Yep. And I texted him. I said, yo, let's get that no-hitter we were working on. Yep. And then uh, he was like, all right. And then just coincidentally, he did throw it that day. Yeah, it was pretty cool. I was driving to the lake uh, with my family, and we were all sitting in the car together. Yeah. Watching, as we're driving out, watching the game. And That's he's so pitching awesome. a no-hitter. Yeah, he's so, the like, man. the whole family was going nuts. He's also fucking half my age. He's like a young buck. You know, this guy, he's like a young stud in Major League Baseball. And when I grew my mustache out and I put it on the internet, he's like, welcome to manhood. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> Call me a fucking, Bro. and I love him to death. But in my mind, I was like, oh, I got a big brother. This guy a little bit bully. Yeah, I'm him a double bit. your yeah. age, dude. What do you mean, welcome yeah. to man? I know you're a pro athlete and all that <laughs> shit, but dude, I'm I'm yep. a man. Dude, welcome to man. Oh man, Dylan's the fucking best. Dude. I'm glad I wore it though. I had to counter uh, since our guest he decided to wear a Dodgers hat. I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, we won. What am I saying? Josh is the only guy who comes to L.A. and then goes, everyone's wearing all those Dodgers. Hats. You're in the town. I we saw. just won the World Series. It's funny because I forget. Get them up here yeah. a lot, and like I saw the Dodgers hats yesterday. We're at a I... bar watching football. Goes, what is everyone in here trolling me? Yeah, everyone. <laughs> everyone knew a Padres fan. Okay. Would be here. In my defense, our friend wore a fucking Dodgers hat to troll me yes, to start. That is true. He just showed up with the new World Series hat. Really wound. And he's like an up. Angels fan, so he's not even oh. a Dodgers guy. And I was like, what the fuck, man? What are yeah. you doing? In my defense, I'm from LA, born and raised. Yeah, good so this for you. is through and through. You yeah, you should rock your defense. team. Yeah, that's not in my your defense. My wife's a Giants fan. So, okay. Yeah, we go to Dodger games and we look like people look at us like an interracial couple in the '60s. <laughs> yeah. Like, what the, what yeah. are they doing together? I hate that the Giants are the gay team. That's what bothers me because <laughs> they're in San Fran, so they have to pander to all the gay people. And it's like, so they're always the team that's like, their Twitter handle has the San Francisco Giants sign with the rainbow right. and the trans shit, or they'll let some drag queens go throw the first pitch. <laughs> So as cool as the Giants are, I'm always like, what's with all the gay shit? They <laughs> had a really they they had a really woke manager too. They just Gabe fired Kapler. last year. Gabe Kapler. He, what, they fired him last also, year. Also, Gabe Kapler, I'm calling you out. I think it was performative. I don't think Gabe Kapler really gave a shit about all that. I think that he thought this will make me look cool with all the young chicks I'm Pandering trying to, to fuck. The city too. And I I'm the manager of San Francisco. So I guarantee if Gabe Kapler was the manager of the Red Sox, which he used to play for, he wouldn't have done any of this gay shit. Yeah. I he, think it was pandering. Pandering to the city. And also I am an ally, but I like gay people in a very equal way. I like you to have <laughs> your rights. I don't go around going, Oh, he sucked a dick, give him a parade. I yeah. just go, Yeah, I love you. Like you're normal you're normal. You're not special gay people. Yeah, what percentage of gay people are actual baseball fans too? Like who are you pandering like to? Twelve <laughs> like, there, exactly. It's yeah. just the whole city. It's the whole city is is like overcorrecting. It's so funny. But right, Gabe Cap is a hot guy. Right before we talked Speaking of gay shit. Right before we did this episode, we were talking to Mike the producer and he was like yeah, I don't know if you guys ever say anything to get in trouble on YouTube. <laughs> I don't we, care at all. I know. I don't know if this gets us in trouble or not, yeah, but it was just nah. funny that we literally just had a conversation. Everyone's so afraid. They go, Jeff will do it. Yeah, BLM was a fucking joke show. I don't care. Go ahead, find Mark my that. Instagram. Yeah, who cares? It's going to be a clip. Yeah. <laughs> clip it up. Yeah, gaslight the whole country. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, introduce our Wasn't slavery bad 100 years ago? <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that a terrible thing 100 years ago? You really are an ally, man. That's fucking yeah, dude. Speaking up for the people of 200 years ago, you really? Mm-hmm. Let's I like do it. it. <laughs> we got to help them. <laughs> we do. They're in distress. Uh, yeah, you know, 100% of them are dead. <laughs> fucking racism. That's, terrible way to That's live. racism, yeah, dude. That's a terrible way to live. Um, I'm super, super excited, but um, 
I just met you. We're new friends. Yes, we are. Yeah, I'm very excited to have you have you here on the podcast. Yes, so our guest, uh, comedian, funny, uh, really good roast comedian writer. Yes, that's your uh, name. Ryan Neeson. Very yeah, very funny. Thanks. Great to be here, guys. Course, thanks for man. having me. Yeah, I guess we clap right. Woo! Um, what what? Yeah, I know that you're a comedian. I really don't know a ton about you, but I know that you're a comedian. What 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 say you about being the roast is your lane? Uh, I, I like it I, obviously cause I do it so much, but I, I like it because it shows that you can say mean things without them being mean spirited. Okay. Like you can be friends with somebody and still say terrible things to them. And that's like what my buddies and I used to do growing up. So yeah. it's like, I grew up doing that with friends, watching Don Rickles with my grandpa. So right, it's just kind of something Rickles. that I got into like I naturally But, liked. uh, that's a very East coast vibe. And you're born and raised yeah, LA. LA, and you yeah. guys were busting each other's balls all the time. Yeah, I grew up in a uh, Simi Valley, so not quite LA. Okay, it's like out. Do you know there. the Versi triplets? I do. Yeah, I didn't know them from Simi, but I met yeah. them actually doing they're comedy. They're always in Simi. Every time I try to hang out, they're like, "No, we're going down to Simi. We're going to Simi. We're going to Simi." It's like, dude, you fucking. Dude, they said they didn't live out there. Who goes to Simi? Yeah, like they're, unless they're always visiting their dad and okay. their mom. Is that no. Simi Valley's north of here? Like obviously in the valley. Yeah, it's Ventura. Like County. an hour away, twenty minutes away. I didn't what know it was it? north till just a second ago. Well, you don't know where it is. I always picture them going dude. south. I always picture them going down somewhere. You don't know any directions. Nothing. Though, so it's fine. it's uh, it's like thirty minutes, thirty minutes from here. Home of the Rodney King trials. That's oh wow, we're, that's what we're known for. And oh, okay. I love that Rodney King. Yeah. <laughs> Rodney King was a good man. He said, well, "Can't we just get along?" That's the best statement of anything political. I think you're thinking. Can of, we just that, get along? I think that was Reginald Denny, though. <laughs> no, that was Rodney King. I think it's Martin Luther King. You're thinking oh. of. Yeah. Google Rodney King. Can't we just? Get oh, along? now we're gonna yeah. get serious. Well, no, because you're crazy saying I'm wrong. I think it was can't Reginald Denny. Can't we all Denny. just get along? I didn't say you're wrong, man. Who was it? It was, was like. It was his political, like it was his actual, like most famous line he's ever said. Can't we all just get uh, along? Was he through a paywall? Come on, no, he got the shit beat out of him on yeah. camera. Yeah, and he was like, they were like trying to make it this bigger thing, and he was like, "Can't we all just get along?" And it was the, it's, yeah. it's such a great That's the start of the riots, quote. right? That was the OG riots that we had in LA. Can we, can we all get along? Can we, can we get along? Um, can we stop making it, making it horrible for? That's it. Can't we just all get along? It, it, it's so simple. It, it looks like when he was doing that, that he got paid. Let's, not, oh, let's not do that. <laughs> no, that's too, that's, that's too far, dude. Are you kidding? He doesn't look like he... Like, well, were you joking? <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding, dude. I'm kidding. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. If it's a statement, I'm not co-signing. If it's a joke, I like it. But let's be honest. That and also, you guys were going, that's Reginald Denny. Like, I didn't know what I, I was talking it, about. I thought it was Reginald Denny. I thought it was the guy that got hit with the brick by getting pulled like that. No, it was Ronnie King. I tried giving it to a white guy. <laughs> yeah, 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 I tried giving credit to a white guy. No, I think it's now. a good statement. Can't we all just get along? All right, we don't need yeah, to do it. I think no. it's beautiful. Uh, let's talk about uh, that sweet Tyson fight. Yeah, we should, let's get into it. Did you watch it? I watched every second of we it. We had a show, so I was on stage during it happened, and I had a tremendous amount of FOMO, like going like, man, i got to do the show, and I'm excited to do the show, but I want to watch the fight. I missed nothing. You felt great. Zero. You missed this, though. You missed I'm zero. Sorry? You missed this, though. You I missed saw this it. Part. Oh. <laughs> Look at his back. Part of the fight. I don't That's know crazy. why everyone's worried about his butt cheeks. Just a wild move. <laughs> Just wild, wild move, if you ask me. Just out of nowhere. Why were they not on? Do you think he forgot? And then they're like, dude, your pants are not oh, on. Oh, Tyson doesn't care. Yeah. I think he was... I honestly, after seeing the way he was talking in that post-fight interview and the pre-fight interview, I think he was like on shrooms or something. There's no... like He, was he does a lot of way, shrooms? Yeah. He, does he was docile. He was real docile. Yeah. Well, he's over it. Yeah. That's one thing I think nobody's factoring. Everyone's getting lost in the fun work gimmicks of this whole spectacle, which it is a spectacle. What they're forgetting is Mike doesn't care about boxing. He doesn't care about any of this legacy. The the oh, but you gotta get paid, dog, or you gotta you gotta b b content, or but this is good for Netflix, or this is a work. Boss, like boxing has always been um, kind of a work, yeah. right? Even even people who care about the fight and they care about their their ego and their socials and their shit, like Jake, they're the type of people who will lose a match to be like, because then the rematch we can get more money right. and then we can get three or four. It's always been some sort of kind of work, but this is a dude who doesn't give a fuck about boxing anymore. Yeah, he just wanted a quick payday. Yeah. yeah, and he's like, listen, I care more about my kids, and if you're gonna give me twenty million, like that's gonna help my family, yeah. it's gonna help my thing. He doesn't give a shit. He doesn't even care about old Mike. No. 
He doesn't, which so is it's insane. over. Yeah. I don't know why he was talking about doing another fight after. He clearly doesn't want to do another fight. Yeah, he and he's like, I won't rule anything out. Yeah, I, I think fight. that he's just going. I'm, 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 I'll do whatever. I'll do whatever. You know, I don't care about that guy. That guy's gone now. <laughs> that, was good. that was good. That's how he like. He doesn't give a shit. In fact, I bet he. I believe he might have done this match to be like. Maybe this will silence everyone about what I once was. Like, who cares? Yeah. Kill the old Mike. Just kill it. I mean, hot take. Was Mike wasn't a great boxer. Uh, whoa. Who did he fight? That's the craziest thing. What are you talking about? He was. Well, who did he fight and beat compared to Everyone? who did he fight? Who, who? Name a good boxer. McNeely was fine. But anytime he. Okay, uh, McNeely, maybe. Yeah. He fought Holyfield. He lost. Holyfield, he Lennox was losing. Lewis. But I think he fought. Uh, he fought. Um, Buster Douglas, he lost to. He lost to Buster, but that was that was uh, he didn't prepare. Let's let's see. Like I, I don't know. I don't know the boxers. Let me so see though. Let's let's who's... see every knockout or every win. Because here's the crazy thing. punching power. I, I I mean, no one hit harder. Yeah, and he's also like a short little tiny man in the heavyweight division. Yeah, he's built like a fire hydrant. Yeah. Um. I don't know boxers enough to know. Riddick. Yeah, he lost to Riddick Bow. No, no, he beat Riddick. Oh, he beat Riddick twice. Bow? No, but it's. I can't read that. It's can't Ruddock. Read. Where is Never it? mind. Mitch Green. Mitch Green was big, was good back in the day, wasn't he? I don't know. I don't know. I don't. Yeah, know. I guess you might be right. I mean, I don't really. I, I. You should say this to someone smarter than me. Here's the thing. I just know the legend of Mike Tyson growing up. Like he was just such a beast. Yeah, it's because he ended everything so quickly. Like and you were like a kid. You like, oh, Lennox shit. Lewis, he lost to. Lennox Lewis, he lost to. I think I watched that fight, and that was a real. And he almost uh, like gave up. I feel like in that one. one. Yeah, it was old, late, great Mike. Uh, he lost to Evander twice. Yeah, you ain't lying, dude. Bruno was a fucking joke. Yeah, as soon as he got out of prison, everybody he fought was kind of like. <clears throat> there was someone he fought that was like an assassin, dude, like a guy that came out of prison and he beat him. Interesting. Yeah, oh, well, the gang. There was like a gangbanger guy he fought. Yeah. So yeah. I guess you could be right or you could be wrong. I'm not smart enough to argue that. I think Interesting. He, like, he had crazy knockout power and it left like an impression on everybody. Like, well, let oh. me look it up. Let me look up something real fast. Bear with me. I'm gonna look up Mike Tyson. Let's see how good he was. Let's see who he could beat here. Let's let's see, because you asked the question. Well, I know for a fact that he was able uh, to beat uh, Glass Joe, <laughs> Von Kaiser. Oh, oh Von Kaiser was good, too. Piston Honda. King Hippo. Bald Bull. He beat all of them? Are we forgetting about Soda Popinski? Oh, my God. <laughs> the Great Tiger. Remember the uh, the turban Oh, boxer? yeah, the guy that did this. Like, he's a from turban. The... Yeah, he was a turban. You know, there's turban comics like Nick Cannon. He was. <laughs> uh, he's a turban boxer. King Hippo, Mr. Standman, Macho Man. So, you know, besides those guys. I was wondering where you are going with that <laughs> the whole time. And I, I kind of like the payout, but I hate it also. <laughs> it's hard. Uh, because in my mind, I was going, hey, was he a bad yeah. boxer? He was the best. I don't know. I didn't, But I didn't know, like, I didn't follow boxing back then. Like, I don't know, like, who was good well, at Evander boxing. Well, Evander Holyfield only got his ear bit off because Mike was losing. Yeah. And Mike was yeah. like, shit, how do I? Because he's still a genius. Mike's a genius when it comes to boxing. But is Evander yeah. Holyfield one of the best fighters ever? Yes. So. Oh, hands down. You yeah. Know? I don't know. Interesting. I don't what did you think about the fight? So I have like mixed feelings. One, it looked like either one, he was really, really old, and that was that's kind of like father time and a bummer. Or two, it looks like the whole thing was fixed and he just was supposed to lose the whole time. And I would prefer to feel like he's old than the fact that he just threw the fight. So either way, it was a bummer. Uh, I thought he'd have a little bit more in him in the tank because it was just like... He looked good for half of one round in oh, round no. two. And then the whole time he just stood in the middle and it looked like he, his knees were fucked up. So I don't know. I don't know if maybe he was, he says he was hurt and he was dealing with blood transfusions before the fight. Yeah, so, which begs the question, why do it then? For the money. Yeah. He was like, he they died. already pushed it back. Just yeah. push it back more. Like, like I'd like to watch these two be healthy and someone knock one of the other exactly. guys out. Well, my exactly. question is, how did it get sanctioned then? Like well, because it's not a real boxing match. No, it was. It, it was, was. a profe yes. it was a sanction. It was a sanction. As a professional it's on, match, it's on his like ESPN record and everything. Yeah. Which I don't know how you go through the process to do that. I but. didn't think he was allowed to have a sanction. I fight. think that's why they had to do it in Texas. Maybe. Well, I thought that he wasn't allowed to box. That's it's a fucking felon in, in certain states. states like, I thought I he wasn't like 
the ear biting thing, they were like, dude, you can't fight again. You can't oh, fight yeah. Again. Like, it was a couple whole... times after that, though. Mm, interesting. That is crazy, actually. Yeah, yeah. You bite a guy's ear off in the ring. Maybe enough times passed or something. <laughs> he bit, he did that in either 96 and 97 and then fought till 2005. Hmm. Wow. So it was a disappointment. Some sort of thing. I also, this is another take I have on it, is that it brought out the worst in everybody. This this whole thing brought out the worst in everybody. Everyone's like, oh, this is just some cash grab for Netflix. I can't believe Netflix is trying to kill pay-per-view. Or they're going, oh, uh, Jake Paul isn't a real fighter. This is all so stupid. It's a gimmick. Or Mike Tyson's old. Or Mike Tyson's... It brought out the worst in everybody. But we all hoped maybe something would be good about it. Maybe we'd yeah. watch Jake Paul get knocked out. Or, or we, we hoped maybe this some current event would happen that would be so exciting that we would all talk about. It. But since that didn't happen, it brought out the worst in everybody yeah. again. So everybody's like, that shit sucked. We had one of my buddies at my house, Mitch, Mitch um, Verzi. I use names. That's a, that's a <laughs> good. I, uh, so Mitch Verzi at my house. He was, he was talking all this shit. Like, I knew it was going to be fucking dope. I was like, dude, you were at my house a week ago. You, this, you weren't saying this. <laughs> yeah. I, I yeah. saw you last week. Yeah, and everybody had the right opinion shit. after the fight. Yeah, it's yeah like, of course. It brought up the worst in everybody before and after, and it just sucks. The only way it would have been a win-win besides for the people that made all the money would have been if Tyson knocked him out. Everybody would have been stoked except for Paul. Right. Yeah. Or if it would have just been like a really good fight and they would have thrown a bunch of blows and then everybody would have been like, oh, okay. But it was so bad. It was yeah. so slow. It was slow. And there, I mean, he didn't throw any punches. Yeah. Was, he threw three punches in the first round and then was like, I think I'm good. Like, yeah. Like, and then he weird. had literally one, the round two, he had like one little move where you're like, oh shit, here he is. And then that never showed up again. And yeah. It was yeah. just like. Which is what is adding the fuel to the conspiracy exactly. that it's rigged. And then the biting the glove thing, like that yeah, was that something was everybody's kind of wondering too. about. Yeah. Because the biting the glove couldn't be a great cue. Yeah. Or is it like a tick? Is it like something where if you're not healthy, you're doing that to like. He said it was like he has a biting fixation, which is hilarious yeah. after the. <laughs> But it reminded me of like my pit bull when she's frustrated, right? And she just fucking grabs something and like starts shaking. Yeah, it. I, I, like I felt like he was pissed that he couldn't perform like he wanted to. Mm. That and that was, would that make was the sense. feeling I got. That would make sense, and then that's a legit feeling. But if he's doing that because he can't throw punches, then you're like, that's a whole nother anger for me. Well, yeah. Also, it also helps keep your hands up too, because if you're biting your gloves and keeping them up, like it keeps them from dropping down and getting okay. cracked in the face. Oh yeah, fatigue. Saying, yeah. So maybe that's so a like technique. Well, because Logan's hands were down so yeah. much, yeah. I was like, "Oh, not Logan. Sorry, Jake's hands Jake. were down so low. Yeah. He got hit because he started to get cocky. He had his hands up at first, and then once he realized Mike didn't have it, he started putting his hands down. And yeah. When he bowed at the end, I was like, if I'm Mike, the knock him out. still going yeah. on. I'm cracking Sucker you, punch bro. him, yeah. dude. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Also, uh, one thing that some love for Jake Paul is that how much of a showman Jake is. Yeah. So, like, during that press conference thing where they had all those fighters out there and then Mike's just sitting there like this, like, Jake was doing his best. Lo like him or hate him, like, he was trying to make it a thing he's like fuck you new york and he's getting up betting them yeah. all like i'll bet like he was trying to drum this into yeah. like a big yeah. and it like at times seemed a little over the top and desperate and shit but like he was trying yeah. even during the match he's like trying to make it a thing he's like the the whole the cocky things and i'm going like this is a guy at least trying yeah he's a good to promoter make this a really big could you imagine if that's how it ended, though? Jake Bowers and Tyson just unloads. Oh, That'd be awesome. Dude, everybody yeah. would have lost their yeah. shit. It happened like the Victor Ortiz-Floyd Mayweather fight. Like, Victor Ortiz fucking accidentally, like, headbutted him or something. Mm -hmm. And the ref calls time. He goes to, like, say, like, I'm sorry. And Mayweather just left right and knocks nice. him out. That's great. <laughs> well, I also think, like, yeah, I, I, can, I can only believe. My heart just wants me to believe that this was just not real. It was just not a real fight. Yeah. That's, I think everyone that's that. the. I don't think we'll ever know if Jake Paul could beat Mike Tyson because this wasn't a real fight. That's the shitty part for me. Yeah. It just, it, Maybe Jake fight... could beat Mike, but this wasn't real. We didn't get to see yeah. it. The fight yeah. was so bad that it made it look like it wasn't real. Like yeah. it was just all bullshit. Yeah, and that's, like, the, that's the shitty part. If we're going to go eight rounds. We'll both have a good time. We'll make some money. How's that sound? And Mike's like, okay. And he's like, I won't, I won't knock you out. You don't knock me out. Yeah. Because it's kind of like it the, the leaves like, like this. It's like an anti fight. It's a publicity stunt. Yeah, and they go, "Hey, man, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna punch you in your chin. You're not gonna have to worry about being humiliated or knocked out. But also, hey, same respect to me. Don't knock me out. 
this will be like a sparring thing that we yeah. go eight rounds. That's that's the only thing that really kills me. If that was like a prior agreement, then I'm like, fuck. I think they got a tale as old as time. Yeah, in exactly. And that, but that's the part of it. That's why boxing is just faded off because people don't know. Yeah. You know, you start going, are any of these real? I know. Yeah. What sucks to gamble on? You're you have a terrible gambling problem. <laughs> no, I used to, bitch. I don't have it anymore. I bet on the draw. I would have. Uh, did you bet on it? I bet on the draw. What's what's the draw? Like if it was a tie, I'm like I thought it was. I I had been saying from the beginning this is rigged. Yeah, I think it's going to be a draw. Oh, interesting. So I bet on the draw at like twelve to one. I lost, but right. Like, yeah, <laughs> the odds were terrible though. Fifty bucks. It is. Yeah. The odds ended up. It was like two ninety for Paul. Oh really? Yeah, I know the odds, even though I don't bet. That's great I odds. Actually, does that them. seem like a guy? I'm that... always <laughs> watching the odds. I know him. Yeah, he's like they were 190, but then it went off to 299. Of people. No, yeah, they went. They went way for him. Which I is... just bought this great bottle of uh, scotch. I'm not drinking it. I just, <laughs> it just I got you know. I, I'm always keeping an eye out. This new, but hey, it was man. a good price. <laughs> Here's the thing: it was on sale. When Ralph's. you used to drink, now you watch everybody else drink and make a fool of themselves. That's what I do with gambling. <laughs> I either. look at the odds, and now I make a, you know, I watch everybody fucking lose. Hey, like Jeff's been at the bar every night for a guy who's uh, you know sober. I believe you. Go, you just at the fucking sports book going. Oh, like, Why is Josh? Here? I could, you're like Josh claims he doesn't have a gambling problem, and he's a, <laughs> like you could tell me exactly what the price is of a. Long Island iced tea. You're yeah, like, yeah. well, I'm not drinking. Oh, they're great here. They're only six bucks. You're like, Jeff, it seems like. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, it's too funny, dude. Uh, before before we came in here, we you were talking about uh, you in Vegas. You kicked some guy in the yeah. balls. Like, yeah. Let's get into that. Yeah, man. They're I used feel to... bad because people are going to mm. blame you for this, and I'm Don't on your f- side. Don't feel bad. I probably donated this guy's uh, crack addiction. Thank you. What I have? Spiders or yeah. So on. explain it. Spider. Uh, so yeah, my, for for one of my birthdays, my buddies and I are walking along the streets of Vegas, and there's two guys with signs that say, "Kick me in the nuts for twenty dollars." Yeah. And an offer you can't refuse. And I mean, it's the best deal in Vegas. I think we negotiated. <laughs> I think we're like, how about Vegas. five for seventy five? And the guy's just like, all right. And he's, <laughs> you talked him down. You negotiated. I'm, not, I'm Jewish. I'm not paying full price for That's anything. That's hilarious. Um. So yeah, we we give the guy cash and basically just line up and continue to kick this guy in the dick for Dude, five that's guys. Wild. And his mom's like cheering on the whole thing. She's like his pimp. She's taking the money. Yeah. She's like, here, give me the oh. money. I'll take care it's of it. It's a three person operation because I saw in the yeah. video there was another guy. <laughs> yeah. There's two guys holding signs and then a mom. Yeah. And she's like, you know how much math we can have? Yeah, if all the just, math. Yeah, yeah. And they'd already had all the math because I kicked this guy as hard as I could. Felt his, he's like whatever hip bones yeah. on my shin the pelvic bone. the pelvic bone that's the one he falls down and just like springs back up oh jeez! and like the undertaker <laughs> so yeah, i'm like yeah, how yeah. the fuck did he and i'll be honest kind of made me feel bad i'm like i feel like oh, i should have sure, put him yeah. down like I, I don't know if i could kick him you could absolutely do it yeah you could do it i i mean i know i could if i had to but yeah. it's like one of those things where you're just like i don't it just feels so weird like yeah. i'm not saying like I need him to it, like but... say something to me, and be like, "Yo, call me a bitch or something." Yeah. Like I need to like yeah. I need to get like, like amped give me a reason up a to little kick bit. You. I think if you I are... just see some drug addict in Vegas, yeah. man, this feels icky. And then you'd be like, "You know, he called you a faggot," and I'm like, "All right, I got this." Yeah. You know? <laughs> I think you guys are underestimating the amount of alcohol we've been drinking. Oh, that's too. true. Yeah, yeah, this is Vegas. Of like, yeah, that's a good point. We weren't like dead sober. Like at one point, he looked at me. and He's like, "This guy's fucked up." Uh, <laughs> he's like hoping <laughs> maybe you miss. Yeah, I kicked my buddy in the dick. Oh shit. Now, uh, did you get half off if you did it left footed? Like, if you switch foot? No, you... but I was thinking about taking a second run at him after yeah. I didn't, after I didn't keep him down, and I was like in my head, I'm planning like, all right, do I fake the kicks? Because if I watch it, he like kind of jumps up to absorb oh, some of the pressure. Uh, so yeah, then I was like, strategy he had to a it. work. He's got to so, be strategy. So, to it. Everything, everything's a work. <laughs> so I was like, do I go again and fake the kick so he goes up and then throw oh, it? Right, and, when like, he's coming down. Right, when he's coming down. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what's wrong with you? Yeah, no, I love it. Who broke you? I got to really get <laughs> No, this is how comedians think. How'd you lose You're a always thousand? dissecting the thing, you know? <laughs> yeah. But, like, I bet a ton of people fucking kick this guy in the balls, and they just like, oh, would you see what we did earlier? Whereas the yeah. comedians are like, I think maybe, I noticed he's doing yeah. a thing. I found his know? tick. <laughs> how can I game this yeah. system here? By the way, there was not just us. There was, like, a crowd. This yeah. was the most, this was, like, the biggest attraction in Vegas yeah. at the time. Because it is unusual. How did he crazy. take it? Did he just... Or like was he down for a he minute? He fell to the ground. Seconds. Just went down, sprung back up for that. Just a That's couple it. seconds. Yeah. Did he have a cup on? No. No, a I would have felt the would cup hurt too because yeah. the the thing with a cup uh, is it protects your penis and testicles, 
but it it digs into your pelvic yeah. bone. Yeah. yeah. And it so it's like, like in a weird way, the penis and balls is kind of absorbing <laughs> a lot of it's a soft genital. You know. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I would have felt that would have hurt my shin probably. But I, I wonder if you cut. could just wear like four pairs of underwear, like just some sweatpants or it's yeah. something that you could it's go like a diaper. Yeah, li- in it's there. gonna suck no matter what. <laughs> yeah. This ladies, I don't have any ladies watch this podcast. I doubt it, but if they do, <laughs> this hurts on your balls just yeah. that much. That, that's enough. You could fake it and guys go like yeah. this. That's how much it hurts. Yeah, it dude, doesn't we, take much to hurt your dick. We got a couple lady listeners out there, dude. We got a I couple. So, we yeah. do. We got a couple. They're, they hit up the podcast. So <laughs> I, uh, like, I don't know. Just, is it like, does he get off on it? Like, is it something? I like- worked on a show called Numb Nuts. And one of, <laughs> one of our three resident Numb Nuts, which sounds insane. His name was Horse. And his only talent was that he could get hit in the balls over and over. And that's why earlier when you said, well, you know he's not having children. Horse had children. Oh, my God. Horse's whole career for over decades, or not decades, but a decade, was just, I'm the guy that can get kicked in the balls. And he was like, thought because of the height of Jackass that that this would be his like meal ticket. And I was like, dude, I don't know (laughs) how many times you can get hit in the balls every single day. But here's the thing. He later, after kind of like uh, having like a just a no career, whatever, an internet career, he went on AGT as the guy who gets hit in the balls. And Howard kept voting him through. And so (laughs) Horse literally made like a second part of his career, a second chapter of his career for being hit in the balls. Do you think he froze like some uh, sperm cells before this, and like maybe that's how they had kids? Uh, how, how can you have kids wait, like that? A man named Horse. I don't know how it works. I, man, I, think I mean, that, we don't know if getting banged in the balls yeah. takes away your chance. It might of kids. just take we away that, that crop, you know. Like we're always making yeah, new that's sperm, true. or they're I mean, not coming out right. Or some, no. Something tells here. me a guy named Let's Horse wasn't up. thinking ahead. Yeah. <laughs> right in, like nutshot Horse. The I problem is like horses come up. This is gonna be this is gonna be his fucking porn thing from earlier. No, right away. This is it. This oh, is literally the first one was this guy, Horse. This guy? Yeah, that's him. He was Seems on the like show with me. Guy. Nice guy. Bro. You... Big boy, too. But, like, look, he would just let people. <sighs> Dude, this is, it may have been him in Vegas. Nah. <laughs> but, like, look at this. I mean, these people are just going after him. Nasty the horse. He looks like Uriah Faber. <laughs> oh, my God. Bro, this is insane. Oh. And this guy's a nice guy. Dude, Fabrizio yeah. Hardy. Horse is a really nice guy, but. Ooh. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh my god! Is this just him talking about it? Well, this is him, him narrating his top ten. <laughs> but I mean, you should see some of these. I mean, they're they're insane. So check oh, out this. Show the next one. Oh, oh dude, that's worse. That's worse. That was a lot of penis, not a lot of. Ball. I was gonna say that's like that wedged up here. Yeah. <laughs> Go to the. Uh, this is a good one. Look at this. No, no, no. This is like Finn Balor's finishing move. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He put him in his body. Oh. I think the next one is from the show. That oh, okay. Wait, let, let's hear him. Oh no, not oh, that. Oh, my bad. No, it's okay. Go, keep going. Oh, fast forward? God, yeah, you can fast forward again. Oh, I feel like I've seen this on. TikTok. Oh, yeah, that was one of the old classics. We're not TikTok Vine. Dude. This was pre TikTok, pre Vine, pre everything. How much would it take for you guys to do that? That right there, that's MySpace times, dude. Yeah. That's like. Let's hear this one. Is he hard right now? Psycho, Jesus. <laughs> no. Oh, no, a toboggan. See, you just run out of ideas eventually, and you just got to, like, <laughs> well, all right, what, what could I get hit in the balls with? Oh, Jesus. He came that, up and hit him in the head. Yeah, yeah, I don't even know. Oh, no, I hit him. Just ridiculous. Bro, they had to run that test. Yeah, who's <laughs> aiming that toboggan? But this guy <laughs> has kids. You know, like, my boy's got kids. Oh, oh my God. Was okay, that... how much... Oh. How much money would it take for you guys to do any of those? Oh, okay. <laughs> to do it once. <laughs> to do it once. Um, and you could pick which one you want. <laughs> Good question. Oh. See, this is now we're getting into the game here. <laughs> oh, man. This one. Look at this one. Bunk. Zero. There's no way I could do that. 
Zero? That's not how they zero scale. Like you it's do it, it for zero infinity. Dollars? Like there's no way I could no, jump. No, sure on. it is. I guarantee you, we could nah, get you five million. Oh, yeah, five million. <laughs> which is basically infinity at this. Point. Oh. <laughs> like five million dollars. I love that answer. Yeah. Uh, do you know how much uh, Shohei made this? Uh, his latest contract? It's infinity. It's infinity. It's dude. basically infinity. Uh, Might as well be infinity. Yeah, actually. a million dollars. Because any bank's gonna give you a loan. If You're you gonna do that, that for that's a million. A million? Yeah. I yeah. Hundred grand. Hundred grand. Are we talking tax free? I could do it for five hundred grand. <laughs> Are you talking? Uh, oh my god! That one I could do for. Like See, five. that one actually was not as bad as the others. The rubber's absorbent. You know, this is how bad this is. They're so fucking brutal that I just watch that and I go, oh, that's yeah. it. I do yeah. that one. You can kind of no, I wouldn't. That. I wouldn't do that one. But because we watched him like hit, get rocks and guys jumping off. Oh shit. no! Oh, oh that one's not that bad. What are you talking about? Because it broke. Yeah. Yeah. It they just went through the wood. Still sucks. Yeah. You can get a splinter in also, your I'd dick, bro. I'd be scared bro. to just True. jump off the roof. All right, so five hundred grand. Yeah, I think five hundred grand's the lowest I could go on that. <laughs> and then which one are you doing? Uh, do that tire one, I guess, because it's kind of <laughs> kind of cute, you know. Not that one. They're not as forgiving. These other ones are like steel. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> like oh that my one's god. Like a cinder block. I mean, look at this guy. Okay, so wait, he's attaching shit to his dick and yeah, pulling yeah, it. He's a big guy's, nuts guy. This you know? guy's insane. He loves nuts stuff. Horse is crazy. Have you guys seen the the guy who jumps on? random shit all the time like he jumps from the top and lands on like a microwave and shit like that and oh yeah yeah um, like his a... name is uh this is for all the juggalos yeah. and jiggalettes don't try this at home fuck this shit and then he jumps off something i was gonna say he's like a big backyard wrestler guy uh yeah he loves backyard wrestling but he's um his name is uh I, someone sent me an autographed eight by ten of him check this out are you a juggalo fan no this is all barbed wire but i love wrestling and i love backyard shit and i love freaks and this kid's oh no freak. i was just they were you know, they were in at Skankfest and I got so confused. <laughs> he just hurts himself at his parents' house. This shit. I hate it. I know. Everyone hates it. I mean, he's not all there, all right. right? This is the last one. Yeah, last one, last one. <laughs> Are you calling this guy right now? <laughs> I'm gonna try to call a horse. Oh. Oh my god, dude. What is horse is unavailable. He tried to call a horse. Yeah, I was gonna be like, what are you doing? Now? Yeah, bro. We haven't spoken fifteen years. What are you up to? That's so funny. You're nuts all right. Okay? All right. This He's all right, all right. We saw this. Oh, check out this one. Ah. <laughs> But, you know, like people that don't have talent I hate and them. they don't have charisma and charm, they're like, but why can't I make money off the internet? You know, it's like they go, well, maybe if I hurt myself or I hang myself from hooks or Dude. I tattoo my eyeballs or, you know, Ugh. it's a lot of that. I don't know why I... I hate that guy so much. Dude. He sucks. Dude. I don't know why. No, it's I not think he fair, sucks. but I fucking no, hate. No, I think he sucks. Okay, good, dude. Like, what he's doing, I hate it. He's so good. The people like it. I'm like, I, I hate it. I hate it. Yeah, and also, like, what are you doing? <laughs> It's like he's retarded, right? No, yeah, I don't think no, he's retarded. Oh, I don't hate him. I hate what he's doing. <laughs> I don't think he's retarded. You don't think so? I think he might be on the spectrum or whatever, but that's no he reason to, to not to. hate somebody. No, that's a good point. Pretty equal. They've been getting it easy if for too long. Suck, you know, also, this is like like so many comics now. This new thing in comedy is the old thing. Used, the, the old thing in comedy used to be like be Jesse Jesse Smollett. Just make up all these racist things. Like I was at the grocery store. Yeah, and the guy said a racist thing, and I'm like, damn, that's racist. But he made the whole thing up, yeah, yeah. Yeah. you know, just for the bit. And you're like, this. but now the new thing is, if you're a girl comic, just pretend you're a whore or bisexual. But you don't have to be in real life. It's just for the bit, and everyone's gonna go, oh, she's in the LGBT, or she's, you know, but it's all a lie. And then the the newest thing with male comics is pretend to be autistic. So now we have to put up with your bullshit. Yeah, you go, oh, <laughs> you've been like a social nuisance in our industry for 20 years, but because you're autistic, we're supposed to let it have a pass. Oh, I go to open mics in LA I know it's up. everybody's autistic. oh turns out I was autistic you know, yeah no you're just a jerk yeah you, you just yeah and so anyways I don't think that's a pass I don't think you get a pass just because you're autistic <laughs> I meant for the that stuff he was doing <laughs> like, I don't like that guy. like I feel like his parents should be like intervening yeah, they should say, exactly yeah. we should go don't do this yeah and he goes but I want to be on the internet I don't want to work in a be in an office you're like you just go get a real job I would uh, like uh, elbow dropping microwaves. We I don't it. care. I would like to see the it prequel. Sucks. I hate it. I would like so to see much. the prequel where he's just like shopping for appliances with his yeah. parents. 
I'd like to talk to him and say, you're a good guy. He gives man. his parents yeah. a list to yeah. go yeah. get shit at the go store. Go to Best Buy for I me, please. <laughs> uh, so you said like, 500,000. Uh, what do you say, 100,000? Probably two fifty. I'm going two fifty. Two hundred fifty thousand. I yeah. mean, there's no way you guys aren't doing it for twenty grand cash. I think you get us there. You can might be able to do yeah. some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like you get me there. The tire's already set up. We <laughs> yeah. just you, all you gotta do is Jeff. It's fifty grand. You know yeah. what? Fifty. Yeah, and I could dude. do it. You I know? think you could do it. I know. But the problem is, I'm talking about you gotta. What I don't. It's get... on the books. You know, like if it's on the books, <laughs> and I gotta go. Ah, God damn it. Oh Wednesday. We're negotiating the thing with my manager. Yeah. Uh, you're flying to Dallas to do the dick thing. <laughs> We can only get it sanctioned in Dallas. Yeah. Sorry, and dude. I go. I gotta oh. fly out there, telling everybody a week before I go. Oh, guess what I'm doing? Two hundred. Yeah, you know what? It's probably the lead up more. that's worse. Thinking yeah. that you're gonna do that. Because yeah. because realistically, if we just got you drunk and it was already set up, and you're there just kind of hammered, having a good time, we're like, you should do it. You should do it. Like you'd be like, yeah. all right, you can do it for a lot cheaper. Yeah, because I used to spar and fight, and like I've been kicked in the dick a few times. It sucks, but like yeah. if I had been offered yeah, twenty grand, yeah. if I had been offered fifty grand before, that, I'd be like, no, I don't want to get kicked right. in the dick. But then it happened. I was like. You know, two days later, I felt okay. <laughs> How much to just get kicked like that one guy did in, in Vegas? Like I said, I think you'd have to surprise me. I'll say 100, 20 grand, but you have to surprise me. I can't know it's coming. Yeah. You have to hit me from behind the or something. The kicking thing now seems pretty fine. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we did. We showed the most extreme things. So yeah. now that the whatever. We should the, learn from this for future thing. episodes. Yeah. Show them the craziest yeah. shit. Show like the JFK thing yeah. and then be like, how much to get shot with a BB gun? Yeah. Um, yeah, that is interesting. I mean, I think the kick I, one. I honestly think if you were in Vegas and the guy's like, for a, a thousand bucks, I'll kick you in the nuts. You are you gonna do it? Mm, how am I doing at the tables? Thousand <laughs> bucks. Gonna, it's gonna depend how I'm doing. If I'm down on the trip, I'll probably be like. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if the Vegas guy was like uh, twenty dollars? Nut, kick in the nuts you know and then uh, you give him the $20 he just kicks you in the nuts that'd be, be like what you didn't read the sign yeah dude that'd be great I kick you in the nuts $20 yeah. nut shot that's the guy's like running a little con $20 nut shot that's all it says yeah. that's You're why right. his mom's there for a witness she's yeah. like no he agreed <laughs> you didn't read the fine print like you guys are drug addicts there's fine print <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah that's uh, we're all hammered I can't believe you tricked me that's an interesting <laughs> what's crazy is some people that's like a sexual fetish for yes yeah. I've seen guys like, that's the other thing that's weird uh, I know. like getting kicked in the balls is a don't google this for I'm all not gonna, no but there's a lot of videos like that I've yeah. seen on like TikTok yeah, yeah. So. My, bro my brother send them to me like he'll randomly like he's in Germany right yeah. now and at like 3 a.m. it's like 6 a.m. in Germany at 3 a.m. our time he just send me a random video of some German lady just punching a guy in the balls as hard as he she it's can. like his video or he just found it on the internet he just found he's it on bored. the internet oh, yeah. oh that's funny yeah I was like, why? He's why sending, send me this? We thought he was sending you videos of him getting punched in no, the No, nuts. I thought he was sending you videos of like they were walking in Germany and they're like, look oh, at what this oh, is yeah, happening. Yeah, yeah. It's just him kicking someone in the balls. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what a weird thing. Yeah, these sexual fetishes. I always, my, my thing is just like a really hot chick. That's my fetish. That's a good fetish. I want her just to be the hottest fucking hottest chick. Everyone's jealous of me. She's the most sexy looking. But that's like not that crazy, I think. I think I have a fetish. What? Ooh. I think I just found out. I'm into vampire teeth. Okay. <laughs> I went to a, a costume party and there was all vampires, dude. And every yeah. chick, I was like, I fucking love that girl. I love that girl. Really? Yeah, dude, it was weird. It's because it makes their lips look bigger. I yeah. don't know what it is. Well, no, they look more like canines. And well, he's so that's the dog. I did a I did a study <laughs> on it and it's there's like, a, you're attracted to genetic, like the canines and it's like something in your DNA and those were the hunters back in the day. Or uh, something. interesting. It's like, there's like a whole thing. We don't need to look it up. But no, I was no. like, I, yeah. am I into vampire It's still not team? that weird. No. It's not that Mine, weird. There used to be a show <laughs> uh, called um, Taboo. It was one of my favorite shows. It was on HBO. And uh, the way Taboo worked, it's not that. That's a good yeah, show, that, too. But there's a different. It was like a, a docu-series called Taboo. And each episode was something taboo. So like one week, it's, uh, you know, sexual things. One week, it's um, body modifications. Yeah, that was it. It was always some sort of taboo thing. And they explore it, like, responsibly. And so the thing, of what the sexual one is, the first guy's like, I just love feet. And I'll pay, like, handsome men to come over and oh. wear shoes. And I'll smell their shoes. And you go. Fuck this fucking guy. Yeah, this yeah. guy's a fucking Fuck. nuisance. But then after they keep getting more and more extreme, by the eighth guy, similar to Horace's Nutshots video, <laughs> by the eighth guy, you go, 
that shoe guy's all right. You know? <laughs> he's, he's good people. He's not bothering anybody. You know, it's, it's, yeah. it's just somebody's shoe. Nobody had to put their feet on his mouth. You know, like you just slowly get worn down. Of like, it's all right. It's just canine. They teeth. beat you into submission. Yeah, yeah. Like a vampire lady. Leave yeah, him alone. You know. Yeah. What was the uh, craziest one? One guy was like dressed like a baby, and like he would like you know the women were like yeah, blowing him while he's a baby, going. Gee, gee, gee. One guy had like balloons. He shows him with like a hard on, like rubbing the balloon sounds. And is that the one where the guy like was into his car? He wanted to fuck his car. Yeah, there's some. Wait, I mean, like they would be so outrageous that you'd be oh, like, dude. "Did they produce this? Like, is this guy an actor?" Yeah. Like you would almost not believe the fantasy. Yeah, but then you realize that there are some sick, weird fucking oh, people for out sure. there, like that are actually into that. When That's growing insane. up in the '80s and '90s, like we thought just. A guy liking a guy was the craziest shit we've ever heard. We're like, you know, there's people out there that fuck dudes, <laughs> guys fucking dudes. Like we thought it was insane. Yeah, now, used to. Now, no, I <laughs> know, but like that was the weirdest thing you've heard of. Yeah, guys are fucking their car, man. Yeah, like, now you you're, now you now it's totally fine to wear a he's like in love leather with... dog costume and just walk around in public. The, yeah, I thought that furry shit was a joke when someone told me about it. Yeah, Other people dress up as stuffed animals. Oh, I know. I'm like, how is that real? I think that the oh, that's it. There it is. Oh. It was on TLC, <laughs> dude. The guy was in love yeah. with his car. What kind of car is that? Sex with my car. He's all old now. Let me yeah. see. Is that a GL? A 1978 Chevy or 1998 Monte Carlo. That's oh. insane. He's called yeah. his soulmate. He's left devastated after what? Uh, his <laughs> car was written off in a routine checkup. What does that mean? But yeah, what is it? He's never going to lose the car. Well, why wouldn't he just keep it in his backyard yeah, just and not drive it, If bro. you love it, if like if I could put a whole new heart and, and soul into the woman I loved, I would do that. You can do that with a car. Just <laughs> rebuild the engine. You <laughs> this, can, this guy's been fucking trannies for look years. Look at how sad yeah. he looks. <laughs> he's a trailblazer. But also look how sad <laughs> yeah. he is. He's gone. can you believe my car's totaled? I loved it. So we only liked it when it ran? He had like, sex with his car. Yeah, you didn't need to get rid of it. Look at the pillowcase he has. His like, picture of him kissing his car. Did he fuck the kit, the cushion? This like, looks what? fake as fuck, bro. I don't know. Look yeah, at that guy. Yeah, it does. This looks like a guy who's he's sad. <laughs> he's underneath it. Because if I it's pretend like, like the car died, then they'll put me back on television. This, there's no way this is real. Yeah, By the way, this is even real. crazier. He has a bed that looks like the car. Right. Like, could you imagine having a bed that looked like your wife? <laughs> Just that yeah, the board. sex doll. She's like, I'm right here. Yeah. <laughs> you bought a sex doll. Of oh, the... shit. Oh, where'd it go? I don't know. They showed it all fucked up. All right, guys. How much to fuck your car? Just you know free. what? Ask me this. How much to fuck his car for free? <laughs> Just to piss this nerd off. I'll show up and fuck that car. I'll, uh, you bring him out while I'm like, hey, you like that? Like, he comes out to the car. He's like, you fucking whore. What are you doing? Yeah. Just a single tear. How could tier? you do this to me? We've been doing this for years. <laughs> Behind your back. I know he's good looking, babe, but how could yeah. you cheat on me? I'll fuck his car. <laughs> I'm on red carpets with his car. <laughs> He's like, what? She has a better life? <laughs> where, where are you going to do yeah. it, though? Are you like, driving around L.A.? The gas can or what? Dude? I'll fuck yeah, I think yeah, he has the gas hole. No, I think it's a tailpipe, gas, right? Yeah. It looks yeah. like he was kissing on the hood and the bumper and shit. I guess uh, you got to cover the whole thing. Which is kind of sweet. That's like the equivalent of a forehead kiss. That's yeah, like, like really go, yeah, thoughtful. But it was yeah. just the cover photo. Yeah. You'd kiss your wife on the forehead. But, but it was really funny that you're like, yeah, I'm going to fuck it in the gas hole. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's what it is, right? Yeah. yeah. Where do you fuck it? The exhaust? That, yeah. that would hurt. The no, gas no, no, hole no. just sounds How are you going to put it in the gas <laughs> tank, though? It's got yeah, that weird, like, like stand up and angle and, like, it. Oh, that little door. The yeah. Little yeah. Trap this door. is the weirdest episode yeah. ever. I love, I love it. it, too. So Jeff's in for free, just just to spite this guy. Yeah, I just I want to make him upset. <laughs> yeah, it's free if he's watching. Shame yeah. on you. Yeah, and they'd be like, I would have never even known about your car if it wasn't on television, and that's what made me want to pursue her. <laughs> so this is your fault. You had to bring your relationship public, and now I want it. I'm Imagine he's it. a cuck though, and he wants to watch you fuck his car. Nah, oh. this guy is not a cuck. That guy is mentally ill. Look at that monkey with the glasses. That's kind of cute. <laughs> Dude, you can't put stuff that will distract. Him. Look at it. <laughs> Oh, little, what the hell is that thing? AI Wait, price drop? You can buy like, that thing? squirrel. Why is he posted up like an anime girl? Oh, man. <laughs>
All right. Well, we only have like 10, 15 yeah. minutes left. Let's ask so let's you some of the good ones. Some real okay. questions. And also, we're forever retiring the would you fight fight Mike Tyson now question. Oh, yeah. That's a bummer, huh? After, like, forget about it now. So we used to ask every guest how much to get in the ring against Mike Tyson. And people would say a million bucks, 10 million, 5 million, 100,000, 50,000. Now the now, answer is kind of like, You go yeah. big deal. Yeah. He'll barely try. Yeah. Take me what out would, to dinner. What would your answer be now? Now, well, I mean, I think I said it earlier that I would do 50, it for 000. free. Well, you said fifty thousand. I thought it was like it became for free because I was like, I'm just gonna. I want to meet Mike. I want to yeah. be on the internet. I would like, you know, we'd get some. Content. How much to yeah. get in the ring against the Mike Tyson you saw the other night? I, fifty bucks. Yeah. Really? I, yeah. He still could knock you out. Why nobody yeah. doesn't look like he wants to? He looks. Yeah, like he, he seems he like a pacifist. To kind of. Yeah, but if he knows he's going against a guy that doesn't know how to fight at all, <laughs> he might fucking knock you out. Maybe. <laughs> I well, how much to wear the big padding thing that his that his uh, trainer the wears? Spar guy? That's better question. I feel like that would hurt. Because also we don't know what we're doing. His the guy that's in that thing goes one two like he knows all the combos. Yeah, we're just like. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like I'll watch. It, I'm going. I hope. How did they memorize all those like little things? So that would be a tougher one. I've held pads before. And even even the body shield yeah, it sucks. It's it doesn't really absorb. Especially if anything. you're not flexing. Yeah, you know? like it you got to like hurts. be ready for yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, I've done it before. It didn't hurt me at all. So <laughs> you held for Tyson. I held pads yeah, for Tyson. But uh, how much to get in the ring against Paul? Mm. Would that be a little more? I mean, obviously. Well, I think Jake Paul's going to try and knock my head off my yeah. body. Yeah, he's young. He's well, young and he's big. He's big. He's on all the steroids. Uh, I mean, whatever. I yeah. mean, I don't know how he got that big. Hundred grand. Hundred grand. Maybe a little less. Hundred grand, probably. Because like, what's the word? we talked about this earlier? Sure. He knocks you out. Yeah, I'll do it for fifty grand. Yeah. He, oh yeah. fuck, Jeff's undercutting us. Well, I just like in my mind, it's like it'd be cool. I like Jake. It'd give me an excuse to get all jacked and like try like to commit to boxing. Jack, you're also bigger, oh, yeah. so you'd have like a. I a feel like you have. All right, yeah. take it yeah, easy. No, no, no. I'm saying taller, he's, not muscular. He's not that yeah. big. Yeah, he's pretty small. Um, <laughs> uh, good friend, I got. Jeez, man. <laughs> well, that's he's what like, we do. Dude. Jake will fucking murder him. All right. Yeah, yeah he would. But also, uh, all right, before, let's do a, one that's not boxing. Oh, uh, we'll do the next one before I. But also before I do that, you guys check out the Numb Nuts trailer. On oh, YouTube, yeah. Jeff was in a show called Numb Nuts. It never With aired. Horse. Oh no, it aired for a little bit. Yeah, uh, it's hilarious. We dude. shot a show <laughs> when I first moved to LA. I found out that about was this. like super high budget MTV show that was made by Ashton Kutcher, and then. Literally, I told everyone I'm making a show with Ashton Kutcher. Everyone thinks I'm just lying. Like I moved to LA, they're like, "Oh, did you hear Jeff thinks that he's making a show with that? He's telling everyone." I was like, "I swear to God, it's real." <laughs> he's dating a car. They just shelved it. They shelved the show, and uh, that's not it. Put Numb Nuts. Jeff Although Numb Nuts TV series, yeah, that is it. Why is that the image? Go down. So this is like after uh, Punk. No, it's, the, then, right? it's the top one. It it was yeah like. It's funny that that's the oh, no, picture. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah that but makes that sense. was it. I don't know who those, why that's the picture. But uh, yeah, I was the host. Oh, yeah. And yeah. It was the whole thing. But like, it didn't air. The horse. <laughs> they just, <laughs> yeah, the they horse. just literally shelved it. And I looked like the biggest liar forever. And I was like, oh, Jeff Dye comes back to Seattle. His ego's all fragile. He says, oh, I'm making a show in LA. He's full of shit. <laughs> and then when they finally aired it, it was on MTV2 at like one o'clock in the morning. It was also like 10 years later, right? No, so long. So like now my <laughs> hair is all long. I look super young. It's called Numb Nuts, which everyone's like, you're on a show called Numb Nuts? That's now ago. It was a long time ago. Yeah. It was so embarrassing. Weren't you on Next too? Nope. Oh, I thought you were on Next. I don't know why I mm -mm. thought that. Money from Strangers. I did Live from New Year's with Snooky and Jay. Well, I've done a bunch of like. He got eliminated. A lot of cable bunch. shit. You know? on what? He was that's, on eliminated. He got true. eliminated a bunch. Dude. But I was on Ninja Warrior, Masked Singer. I've done. I've done it all, baby. Yeah, you've done a lot. Uh, right. How much to? Uh, how much to go to? Uh, <coughs> do a show, and uh, go silent for three minutes during your set. Oh yeah. How many people? Like in like where's the pick like, a show? Whatever show you want to pick, man. It could be okay. a good show or a bad show. You could even do it at an open mic. I think I've done this at an open mic. So like literally really? like twenty what? bucks. Why'd you do it? Because these fucking open mics in the valley suck. Yeah, they're terrible. Like you're literally like competing with a baseball I game. Know. Or you went up there and so didn't I just, say a I, word. I was like, no, everyone's just talking and I didn't say anything. Yeah. And nobody noticed. Oh wow. So well, I've already done this for nothing. So twenty bucks. <laughs> 
We'll get some video proof. Yeah. And you'll do it at a mic. Okay, I'll do it at the same mic. No one will I tell notice. comics all the time. I go, Let's dude, go. Like, you got to get that stage time. You think it's not worth it? It's worth it, dude. Just get those reps. Get the stage time. Get on stage. Just get on stage. And then I don't think I was factoring LA open mics. Because <laughs> like I'd be like, that time is wasted. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. You might as well say, oh, I was going to be at this open mic for two hours. So instead of going to this open mic in LA for two hours, I'm just going to go home and spend those two hours writing. Yeah. Because the open mics here are brutal. Yeah, and they charge you like five bucks some uh, of them to brutal. fucking go do comedy in front of six people. Our or... buddy told us a story the other day. He, he Like he did an open mic uh, at this comedy club uh, in North Hollywood. And while he was on stage, he paid five bucks to get up there. While he's on stage, the owner started vacuuming. <laughs> <laughs> just in the showroom. Just vacuuming while he's on stage. He paid her five dollars. That's so to funny. do the show, she's cleaning Vacuuming. for when the real show starts. <laughs> Vacuuming is <laughs> ridiculous. He goes, it was loud yeah. too. It's like <laughs> he's going. This what, is a waste. What's crazy? Oh, sorry, guys. I was sorry. Say, what's crazy is some of the ones that charge like just buy a drink or something. Mm -hmm. How much these shitholes are charging for alcohol? It's ridiculous. I'm like, how's it nine fifty for a beer here? Yeah, and that's your happy hour price. That's yeah, crazy. It's man. insane. It's a scam. Yeah, because a lot of open mics where I, where I started, the open mic was great. Like you would get people there, and there was a real opportunity to like try material and do a thing. But it's just not the case in a town that showbiz is in you know yeah. show business is so everybody comes here wanting to be a poet or a musician or a comedian or whatever and so it's like it just here they suck yeah, uh that's true like so sorry i got distracted you you've done it and you would do it again yeah what about like a, a real show a real show uh, it have to be however double how much I'm getting paid for that show. <laughs> I mean, okay. I'm so like new at this so that like I need the yeah, like, you it don't cost want, me. And also, you don't want to like yeah, have that be it, your show on a booker. Exactly, a booker's so, like this fucking guy came did my yeah. show and he just went silent for just, three minutes. Yeah, yeah. He just had a stroke yeah, for around, fucking. Yeah. <laughs> Would so, you do it though? If I had you on one of my shows down in San Diego, how much money? Yeah, now you know it's not going to affect your reputation because oh. Josh is. The oh, on one of your on shows. One of my shows oh. in but San Diego. But they're good shows in San Diego. I know I did a show. It was great. So minutes. now there's all the girls in the crowd to be like, we were going to fuck him, and now he. No, no the girls ever three. say that. And I mentioned my wife. They're like, these this guy sucks. Yeah, yeah Jeff, uh, that's just your shows. I think that, that makes them more. Because I do a lot of shows and no <laughs> girls are like, oh, we were going to fuck him. Like, that's, doesn't, that's, that's a different We can world. get into the subject if you want. <laughs> you just hear us, you just hear the girls get upset when I mention my wife. Oh. Yeah. No, that never's going to happen. Um, if I was going to do it on one of your shows, I, don't, I mean, God, 500. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's bucks. a fair price. Uh, I mean, yeah. It's still standing there for like, three minutes. Because you're like, I don't minutes. want to do this. Yeah. It's yeah. fair, but it's not the price we want to hear. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's yeah. the problem, yeah. Jeff. <laughs> it's going to fuck up your show if I'm yeah. just silent for three minutes. Yeah. How much to wear a cape for a week? <laughs> a cape for a week? Yeah. Just a Everywhere cape. you go. Everywhere oh, you go. Oh, man. Oh, Jesus. A cape for a week's hilarious. It's like that episode of Seinfeld. Um, fuck. I can't believe capes have never came around, by the way. Yeah, try to sell me on this? <laughs> Which is in general. It would like, look kind of cool. Capes are super like, cool. I could see it being a thing. <laughs> yeah. It's when like I... always having a blanket. Like, what are we doing? <laughs> it's All right. pretty awesome. 250. Two 250 made him gay, though. 250 for, yeah. Yeah. 250 for a week. Yeah, 250 for the cape for a week. <laughs> oh, nice. That's, bad. That's a good one. That's a good We're price. Doing it. We're Dude, doing it. I, who cares? Like I said, I'm fucking mad. It's way, not like I'm out trying to We did this. Well, one of our one of the people said he'd wear a Superman costume for a fucking week. And then... Uh, Unrelated, I, I'm like on the road. I always get packages. I'm always afraid someone's going to steal my packages. So I'll ask, you know, I say, hey, can you bring in my package? Like, yeah. I mean, they know the codes to my house. And so he brings it in, and I was like, couldn't help but notice you're not wearing the Superman costume. <laughs> You know, like well, there'll be like little checks. You know, we're gonna be able to see. Yeah. Show, I'll show up to one of your shows. Oh, he's not wearing the cape. Look at this. We don't have. To yeah, pay. that's the that, thing. But a cape would a lot. A cape would be, be easier than a super. Yeah, that'd be for sure. Well, it was during Halloween. He could have. No, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I don't know if it's easier. But yeah, the cape is like because it's gonna be all day answering questions about the cape. People are gonna be like, uh, "What's going?" You know, my it's answer. A constant. <laughs> my answer is what cape? Yeah. And then the conversation's <laughs> over. No that'd one wants to talk to this crazy person. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah. yeah. Oh, never mind. What would your wife be embarrassed that you're wearing it around? Uh, no, How does she I don't. Deal with that stuff? I think she'd be okay. We don't go a lot of cool places. Yeah, like, she'd be like, she'd be like right. I'm go down to the Topanga Mall. He's doing fucking. some bullshit. <laughs> he's wearing a cape again. I don't he's, know. He's, he does his own thing. Crime's not going to break out. Is he <laughs> kind of cape? Oh yeah, for sure. Like, what's he capable of? Yeah. The new cape is cauliflower ear. Oh yeah. When you see cauliflower ear, you go, all right, let's let's behave. 
Yeah. Well, like in comic books, you see a guy with a cape. You go, all right, you can't pull any bullshit. <laughs> right. The, the cauliflower is the new cape. Yeah. Yeah, you know something. Yeah, yeah, he knows what's happening right now. You don't want to. You don't want to let this go to the ground. That's my favorite thing. You don't want to let this go oh, to the ground. Don't let it go to the ground. Yeah. How much do you shave your head? A lot. My head's misshapen, so oh, I have really? like, yeah, I have like, like a fucking, thousand bucks. Like, no, it'd probably be like five. Five thousand wow. bucks. I got a fucked up looking head. That's all. Like I, know, I used to shave it for wear baseball. Hats. It's. I always That's think of this point. question as Jeff. How oh, much fuck. to wear a hat for four months? That's a good. Okay, point. I'll do that for pretty cheap. So probably cheaper, right? So I can wear a hat the entire time? Well, I mean, some guys look cool with a buzz cut. You I say don't. you won't. I don't. But, like, now you just got to wear a hat because your head's misshapen. Yeah. No, I'm still saying Why five is it because I don't, five, what because happened? I don't know. I think uh, my mom just squoes me out too hard, maybe. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's I was like, it's got why like, a head, head is misshapen. It's got, like, that, like, weird, like, in the middle it goes down. And then, I, <laughs> yeah, and then I get, like, uh, I have, like, cysts on my head. Do you talk so. about this with your uh, your barber? No. Will like whoever cuts your hair, you're like, hey, you know, there's a let's there's some misshape. Yeah. <laughs> let's make sure this no. is gonna have to adjust. I wonder if he's just feeling it. He's like, what the fuck is wrong with this yeah. guy's head? All right, so the head won <laughs> five grand. That's yeah, because I don't want it to get he reminds me there, there used to be this old wrestler, I can't even remember his name, it was like Gorgol or something like but he would wear like a Mexican wrestling mask and then he realized because his character's like he's like this freak. So he would make bumps in like he would put cotton in there so he'd have all oh, these hilarious. like bumps. Oh wow! Honest, it wasn't real, but that's why I'm picturing his head now. Yeah, yeah. and I know now we're like we gotta yeah. hold him down. Yeah. It looks like the COVID virus, just yeah. fucking bunch it's of tough weird to even things. Shave, okay, so that's yeah. kind of five grand's a little high. Yeah, that's so high for that. that no, we're not gonna do that, but this should be cheaper. What about just your eyebrows? How is that cheaper? That's fucking. <laughs> what are you talking He's about? A salesman. That's insane. He's trying to really sell, shave your sell eyebrows. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever seen someone out their eyebrows? They look fucking. They look ridiculous. They look like the operation guy. Yeah, ladies, <laughs> or no, the fucking, not hot. No. You keep shaving your eyebrows. I look like a model now. No, you look crazy. <laughs> no, now they've gone extra thick with their eyebrows. I like that. It's like this weird, like yeah, they get I like, like eyelash extension. Caterpillar eyebrow. eyebrows. I yeah. like that. But no, you'll see the girls who they're trying to look like alien esque, like super model y. So they'll shave their eyebrows. My ex girlfriend had uh, had eyebrows that looked like the Nike swoosh. And really? It was fucking insane. Pretty cool. Looking. She, she get a little bump from Nike for that. I wish she was sponsored. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. That shave like some... is this Photoshop or is this just? No, that's real. Julia Julia uh, Fox is a psycho. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like that look. Yeah, it's. I'm gonna keep it over five. It's, I'm gonna say five grand. Oh, fucking more than five grand. What's this? She Doja tattooed Cat. that. Yeah, dude, these are terrible. So look, stupid. It's funny how Doja everybody's Cat. trying to reinvent the wheel. Just look classically hot. Yeah. Just try to look attractive. Preaching the choir. I completely yeah. agree. Be clean. Just, you know, be, hygiene is key. And just, just looking attractive. You what's, don't have to star what's, 1969. What, what's crazy is somebody has to be the first person to try all the crazy shit out. Mm -hmm. Like those caterpillar eyes. Fucking somebody yeah, had to be trailblazing. like. Trailblazing. Yeah. And all I, right. So uh, how much? 7,500. Uh, there's no, you're going to shave your eyebrows? Well, yeah, he I mean, will. Yeah. Look, he's got none. Actually, you don't even have them. Did you already do this? Yeah, dude. <laughs> so I did this like three get? weeks ago. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> It's like two Hitler mustaches. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. Speaking of that, how much to do that? Hitler do a, mustache, Charlie Hitler Chaplin mustache for a week. Everywhere. I mean, obviously you can't. Hundred dollars. Done. Lock Done. It Lock it in. Hundred bucks. <laughs> Just the Hitler stash. I'm bring, I'm Jewish, dude. I'm bringing it back. I That'd gotta reclaim great. that shit for one week. Uh, so I can throw on a cape for another. How would you handle it? <laughs> would you deal with it like kind of? Um, would you deal with it kind of like? Uh, would you go like? What do you mean? Like if yeah, people I'd, asked you, I'd be like, "This is the Michael Jordan. What are you talking about?" Yeah, I know, but that's what I'm saying. Like, if people are gonna go, "Why do you have that mustache?" Are you gonna be like, "What? It's just a mustache?" Or are you gonna be like, "I'm fine with like." How are you gonna deal with? That's it? a good. I I I may play it off like I've never heard of this. Like, mustache. what do you? I oh my god! Yeah, lots of people have this mustache, dude. Every, my favorite basketball. Laurel and Hardy had Laurel, this mustache. Yeah, Charlie Chaplin. Charlie Chaplin. Lot of, I'm gonna let one. What's that? I love that mustache. I, yeah. want, I want to bring that back. I'm going to let one Well, I'm just wondering, like, how would you verbally deal with it? I think the toughest explanation would be to my mom, probably. Yeah. She'd be like, who knows? I'd probably get, like, a lot of new fans. Because the rule is, <laughs> yeah. The rule is you can't say, oh, I'm doing it because this podcast is paying me. Oh, you didn't tell that me that. That makes okay. us look bad. I mean, right. okay, but they go, there's a podcast paying people to have a Hitler mustache. <laughs> what? We go, no, 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 no. <laughs> and we will endorse anything. Blue Chew, you name it. But here's the thing. The, uh, we said, we how much would he do it? Well, yeah, we're it's not like, endorsing it. It's like an extreme it. thing. Yeah. I think I would really, I think I'd try to fuck people, like, like fuck their minds up. I'd wear a Kamala hat while I had it. 
yeah, they're just like, the what there the fuck's go. happening yeah, yeah. right now? I was going to say, to make it even worse, how about he has to wear that mustache and that shirt that we have? Oh, I know. Here it is. Oh, Jesus. What is the shirt? <laughs> <laughs> that's the one that gets that's it. the combo you have to do <laughs> that's the one he can't do yeah. in front of his family my uh my cousin looks just like Anne frank <laughs> really it, we there was that picture it was on a like a time magazine uh and we were checking out the grocery store i'm like this is you yeah like i held it up to the cashier i'm like yeah, a lot Anne of people frank. look like a lot of people you know yeah uh <laughs> yeah. Well, I, to aliens, we all look the same. Yeah. Where did you oh, buy yeah, these shirts? Is this your guys' merch for the pod? Made. No, we had it made. Oh, we didn't have a makeup. Somebody a made fan it. of the pod had it made. Oof. Yeah, that's okay. tough. That one he's getting uncomfortable. The other, the other that, one he didn't. The the mustache. That would be was hard. Fun. Yeah. Well, watch worried. how nervous he gets when he starts shaving the Hitler mustache. I know. The, the part of my. There's uh, no way you're doing it for a hundred bucks. Come on. Well, first off, this is like three months of me growing facial yeah. hair right here, so it'll be such a weak hitler mustache i'm like not even how much to do a roast battle and drop the n-word hard r oh jesus yeah <laughs> somewhere in the roast battle yeah i don't think because you know the rules of the roast battle be like you get one n-word brian moses it used to, used to be that. i think they used changed to say that, that. <laughs> the roast battle scenes got real soft just in LA. take it. i don't <laughs> just to go oh he said it we could say it i have said fag uh in okay. a roast battle i've spelled... didn't think that would be back 10 years ago yeah. did we yeah I get it goes to the eyebrows. I'll be the first. Yeah, you're trying <laughs> to bring that stash back, bring the N word back. Oh man. No, that, that that would shut everything down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it would uh price is probably high on that one. Yeah, huh? price probably high on that one. Oh, how much to just ruin you your future? You could say, Oh, this guy, I heard he said and then you say the N word yeah. and then you, then you do your joke. We'll put it on him. <laughs> and then you totally He thinks it's okay to say and then yeah. you know you put it on this him. Guy. You frame him. You know, oh he's God. the one who thinks it's okay to yeah. say. And then they're like, he's black. I'm like, ah oh, shit. I well, don't... but he did. I don't see color. He did say it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, yeah, I don't think I could do that. That'd ruin just not even like uh, I, I mean a million I, dollars. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, yeah, it's not like they get that many views. A million dollars, yeah. There we go. I feel like I could break off every oh, black man. guy that has a problem Locking with it. After yeah. that. I'd be like, like, what's the problem? Dude? I got paid a mil, dude. Break them like, off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of them now. I, I love it. <laughs> I'm in. I'm in. Oh, man, that's a good one in on a million dollars. Um, All right, where can people find you? Where can people see you? Where can people support you? Uh, Instagram, the Ryan Neeson. Uh, I think I have some, I don't even know. I've got some shows with Adam Ray in January in uh, Phoenix, so. Well, cool. then Adam Check Ray out. will get all the money. Yeah, that's yeah. about I'll, what's I'll hope going on here? Hopefully I'll have merch by then. I'm going to be selling these shirts that say yeah, liar. Go, dude. Yeah, um, this guy that. doesn't go uh, per, come to Jeff Dye's shows. Yeah, I don't yeah, got do. anything booked what out here. What are you talking here, about? So. Why do you think they're always so busy? Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> the secret this. cup. Yeah. Uh, all right, follow him. Uh, you go to jeffdye.com. You can find all the places that I'm touring. The new special, uh, Last Cowboy in L.A., is out. Yeah, check it out. Check it please. out. Um, yeah, that's for me. Josh Nelson Comedy. Appreciate you guys. We, we love you. you.